As a fan of film, as a 15 year old who technically saw Spider-Man 2 in theaters, as a member of the human race, please get your babies out of the theaters. This has gone on for far too long. This was a problem with me for a wrinkle in time. Uh, watching that movie was a problem for me as well. I experienced this with Avengers Endgame. Why would you bring a baby to Avengers Endgame? I have no idea. I experienced this recently with Hobbs and Shaw. And I've been relatively lucky, okay? I haven't had this be too big of a problem. People have had it way worse than me. Apparently Monkey Jones had a baby in the theater when he watched John Wick 3. But I'm making this video to try to make a change. To try to, you know, actually start a movement of getting babies out of theaters. It's not too late for you. If you're a parent with a baby in the theater right now about to go watch a movie, find the nearest window, you know, get, get little Timmy. You know what you gotta do, all right? Either find a sitter, rent the movie after it's out of theaters, or chuck your baby out at the window. It's one of those three, okay? Do not bring the baby into the theater. If you're bringing someone into the movie who can't even comprehend like what they're even looking at, they don't need to be there. And I don't have as much of a problem for bringing little kids to the theaters because you know, you can have the whole family experience and all that. But if I was a dad and my kid said out loud in the theater, is that the bad guy? Sorry, Jimmy, you're going up for adoption. You know what happened when I went to Spider-Man 2? I started crying like right when the movie started. I missed the whole thing. I'm ashamed of myself for that. And th there's the problem. Babies, they, they can't do it. They don't understand. Get your baby, find the window. Okay, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. That's not a good option. Just don't bring them into the theater, man. Movie theaters, you know, within themselves already are already bad enough about babies because you can't trust that many people to be quiet and good the whole entire time. There's always going to be that one guy that's just like, Oh my god, look at that, isn't that so good? Like, during the whole movie. And that's unavoidable. But adding a baby into the mix, right? Like, they don't even know what they're doing. They don't even know what they're watching. If they hear a loud noise, they're going to cry. Let's let's just say, like, a one-year-old baby uh, can comprehend what's going on and won't cry and, you know, is going to be completely fine throughout the whole thing. Still, why would you need to take them to a PG-13 movie? Or in the case of Monkey Jones, uh, again, John Wick 3. Well, I have friends who aren't allowed to watch that. And, and uh, you know, an infant is, is like, why? It's just evil. It's despicable. I actually want to share the story of what happened when I was watching A Wrinkle in Time. You guys already know my thoughts about the movie, but the uh, movie going experience was about just as good. There was like this toddler that was like two years old or something like that, just waddling around. And we were at the top part of the theater, like all the way at the bottom on the ground, there's this baby just running around, like trying to find, trying to find his, his or her mom. The baby's trying to find her mom, right? And, and her mom was right there. She had her feet up like that, like that, uh, drinking a drink and letting her baby just walk around. Now, this video isn't here to blame the babies, obviously. I'm, I don't want to get comments from, you know, nine-month-year-olds uh, being pretty triggered at me. It's, it's directed towards the parents. Theaters suck already. There's people on their phones. If you're watching a superhero movie, after something cool, people will start clapping. Why would you start clapping during a movie? Who are you, Who clapping, are you clapping at? at? It's, a screen. it's a screen. It's a movie. It's a movie. Boom, bros. What, what do I? What else do I even need to say at this point? Goodbye. I, I quit. Here we go, boom, bros. Time to talk about drops of the busting. Yeah. I hear the bushes rustling Actually, it's someone busting Justin's chops stop Resume busting Hot made the stuff